In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus went with James and John straight to the house of Simon and Andrew. Now Simon's mother-in-law had gone to bed with fever, and they told him about her straight away. He went to her, took her by the hand and helped her up, and the fever left her and she began to wait on them. That evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were sick. The whole town came crowding round the door, and he cured many who were suffering from diseases of one kind or another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Gospel reminds us that in this time of pandemic, with so much sickness and spread of disease, we have to go to Jesus to ask him for healing. All of us need to go to him, crowd around him in prayer and petition, asking for an end to this suffering. We must have faith in God's goodness, power and strength. Who can you take to Jesus in your prayers? Many people physically carried the sick many miles so that Jesus could heal them. We need to carry our loved ones in prayer, taking them straight to Jesus for healing. And not just physical healing, Many people are in need of mental, emotional and spiritual healing. If you don't know how to pray, let us take a moment now to think of those people who need God's help and hold them in our hearts as we pray. Lord Jesus, our heavenly doctor, you healed the sick, made the blind see and the paralysed walk. In our time of need, during this coronavirus pandemic, we ask you to heal all those who are sick. We carry in our hearts and in our prayers all those who are in need of healing, physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. May you lay your gentle healing hands upon the world and end the suffering of so many. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.